Hello, my name is Joe, and what we're going to be looking at today is how to change multiple texture sizes inside of Unreal Engine 5 using the property matrix. If you find this useful, please do like, subscribe, and hit that bell as it really helps me out. So, here we go. We sometimes want to basically change um, our texture sizes to maybe make our scenes more efficient. It could be that we're well over uh, board on. Um, texture, uh, streaming budgets, things like that. And for instance, say we might have a 4K texture for these leaves when in reality we only need, say, 250 ticks um, by 256 within the um, within the scene. You know, there's no need to, what, why stream in a 4K texture if you're not going to need it? You know, you wouldn't have a 4K texture for a pebble. And, um, you know, to really optimise these things, cause it brings down game size, but also dramatically helps um, performance. Uh, when streaming in Texas. And generally, I mean, you can do this by opening up a texture. So I've just opened up whatever this opacity map here, I believe it is. And you can just, um, uh, we can look for, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Our, uh, I believe it's under advanced. Here we go, maximum texture size. Um, so we can, if you notice here that our imported texture size is, uh, 10024 by 10024 so we can actually say well we want that to be 512 and um, we press save and that's applied it to the texture so we're still you know for this is still all right still does the jobs fine um, but obviously things like rocks and stuff like that it could really help also you know as I say you don't want to be using textures that are necessary now the issue is is that you could have created a scene and suddenly you're left with you know hundreds maybe thousands of materials uh, depending on what you're creating and you now need to go through and do this and that can be an absolute nightmare um, to do so how you can bulk edit these is I've set up um, just a tree some grass and a flower thing and um, well not a flower thing it is a flower and um, we want to say edit the textures for this now what you can do is just go to our content browser and click all so it takes us back to the root and we can go to our filters so we can click on here and we can go other filters in use by level so what this then does is it pulls in every single asset etc uh, texture used by the level now we want to filter it to textures so what we can do is again filters just click on texture and this is going to remove static meshes now these are all of the textures that are being used within the scene so we've got one say for our flower here and uh, we've got ones for um, snowy rocks tree trunks um, clouds you do unfortunately get some of the uh, actual like sky stuff in here as well but you know it's just uh, you know biggest car we chooses this has helped us uh, you know in a lot so what we can then do here is we can select the ones that we want to edit so we'll uh, I won't do obviously uh, loads of them and we can right click we can go asset actions bulk edit via property matrix so this is going to bring up another window which now shows us the basically individual settings, what things are, like we've got normal maps, world maps, all sorts of things here, world texture, sorry, and um, th this will display, you could display hundreds here if you wanted to. And what we can now do is we can go to, I believe, um, oh, it's compression. Um, no, it's not, where is it? Oh yeah, it's compression. So we can drop down compression, and what we can do is we can select all of these by just clicking on the top one, holding shift, right down to the bottom one and we can set the maximum texture size now uh, there are ways of actually seeing what is needed um, for editing a scene and the uh, sort of where you need each texture to be um, I'll quickly show that what we can do here is I'll just drag this off and um, we can go to lit uh, optimization view modes required textured resolution this is going to go gray then what we can do is we can select our meshes and we can say well we once with our mesh selected we can drop down this little thing a uh, little drop box here and we can see that these are our uh, meshes that are uh, our sorry textures that are locked to it so you can see here that it, at this distance it, the tree trunk is green so it's two times over the resolution that's actually needed um, so as we get closer you'll see that it goes blue when it's there. So what we could actually do is we could back this down um, into a more efficient uh, texture using this property matrix and it, it applies to anything. So what we can do here is we can just um, say, well, I want to look at the normal maps 
Um, so you can see there with the normal maps that that's that's all right because when when we're getting close, you know, it, it, I say when we're getting close, it all depends. You know, if this tree was sat like you know miles away, there's no point having it here because the player's never going to see it. You know, so it really dictate uh, dictates what you're trying to do with the scene. But this here helps know where whether you need to increase resolution or decrease resolution or if you're just right. Now we can do exactly the same with the flower. We can go to flowers and we can check there. You know, you can see here that the the stem is too. Uh, two times under uh, what it should be but you're never going to get the camera you know at a realistic size obviously generally you don't get flowers that big but as a realistic size you're never going to be down here on the floor with the camera looking at the stems are you so this is really a uh, it's dependent on you and what quality you want and how far a player is from the camera that that can affect that so then we we'll go back to our property matrix so what we can do here is we can select our textures so we could have select all of our ones for our trees that we think well we need to lower the resolution on that or we need to up the resolution but we're just going to do all of them for now is we can select them all and then we can just make an adjustment and what will happen here is this will then go through and set all of these to a maximum let me just expand that so you can see the text, a maximum texture size of 512 by 512, so it won't be any more than that, even though the text should be 4K, all of these will be that. Then we go to File, Save All. Now, depending on what you've got in here, what performance your computer is, this could take seconds or it could take, you know, 10 minutes. And what's going to happen here now is that when we look um, at some of this, it's actually all right because of the, the art style of this, um, but you will see a noticeable difference um, depending on what... Uh, what you're changing, you know, and um, things like that. But this just allows us to massively, you know, hugely accelerate time of um, speeding up our uh, editing of stuff and allowing us to basically edit mass amounts of stuff in one go. You know, you could do, let's say I've done it where you've had thousands of stuff in here and you've had to edit them just to, just to get it to a base point. Um, so yeah, hopefully this has helped. You've obviously got loads of thing, other things in here that you can you can adjust and to all of them if you wanted to. Um, this is just mainly looking at uh, adjusting texture sizes and um, I showed you a little bit of what the, uh, um, uh, the required texture resolution and how that works so we can see what's, what's going on in a scene. And um, yeah, so hopefully this helped and cheers.